Welcome to Garage Gym Athlete Ask Me Anything. It's pretty simple. I'll be answering questions from the thousands of athletes that follow our daily programming. If you have a question or topic you want submitted, go to garagegymathlete.com slash AMA. Let's get started. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Jared Moon here from Into 3 Fitness, and welcome to a Garage Gym Athlete Ask Me Anything. So this week comes from James. He says, I read in one of your articles that if you could run a uh, run a marathon in three hours or less, that you run too much. So I did jokingly say that if you're running marathons in the two-hour to two to three-hour range, you're, you're running too much. Uh, he said, obviously, there was some sarcasm there, but I was curious if you thought there was a rough threshold on miles run per week that is sustainable, i.e. how much running rucking a week is too much and your joints be and your joints be really pissed off at you when you're trying to play with your grandkids, even if you press progress correctly with a coach. He said, thanks, love, Garage Gym Athlete. Your programming is the best I've ever used. No comparison. Well, first, thanks for the kind words about the programming. Now, to your question on how much running or rucking is too much for your body to where, you know, later on down the road, um, you're not going to be a very optimal human being. And this is something I think about and talk about all the time. So as you know, I have no interest in, um, you know, I'm not a big fan of power lifters who are pushing so hard on the strength side that they need hip replacements when they're 42 years old. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not into that style of fitness. I'm also don't want, uh, you know, to run so much that my knees don't work when I'm, when I'm 56. You know, I'm, I'm always thinking about these things, uh, and how I can have an optimal or high level of performance without breaking my body down in the long term. And this is what I want for all of our athletes, because I don't want anybody, you know, to have a PR, but be broken later on. Now, unfortunately, I don't think that there's a specific, Hey, if you're running 50 miles a week, that's too many miles. I don't really think there is that. I think two things that you need to pay attention to is how do you feel? You know, you really need to think about how your body feels. Cause I don't think that these things just sneak up on you. And then all of a sudden you have this, uh, chronic injury uh, because you squatted, you know, in your 30s. Like, I don't think that that's how it happens. I think you really need to pay attention to how your body feels and take this mental inventory on a weekly basis. Uh, You know, this is kind of a, a meditative practice, but if you just sit down in a quiet room, close your eyes and kind of do a check in on your body. Sometimes you don't even really realize uh, where you're hurting until you do stuff like this. And so sit there, close your eyes, and just kind of scan down, starting from the head all the way down to your toes, but kind of stopping at each muscle group and joint and really sitting there on each area of your body for a few seconds and asking yourself, like, how do how does my elbow joint feel right now? How does my knee joint feel? And I really think that this is the best check-in because if you're like, you know what, that's that is a little bit painful, you know, that my knee actually kind of hurts a little bit. It's, it's not, it's not huge. It's not really stopping me from training, but my knee kind of hurts and taking this mental inventory to see, do you need to adjust something? Because, you know, I had some, uh, knee issues earlier or really knee issues in 2019. And it's probably just from doing our regular training and doing Murph every single week, probably too many squats. Uh, my knee, it wasn't in, in any sort of bad shape. It didn't prevent me from squatting or deadlifting, Um, really there wasn't any significant pain when I'd squat heavy. I could just tell that something wasn't right and it got a little bit worse. So I saw a physical therapist to get things uh, fixed and really started to focus on, on making sure that was good to go. But it's things like that. Never, you know, put a bandaid on something. You know, I know some people, their knee hurts, so they just wrap it up before they squat. That's not a great approach. You know, like, like medicine, you could, if you have, if you're having a headache every day and you take, uh, ibuprofen every day, that's great. Maybe the headache's going away, but the better question is, why do I have a headache every single day? And that's the same with, you know, our muscles, ligaments, tendons, joints. If your knees are hurting and you can wrap them up and it's like, great, I wrapped them up. Now I can squat today. Well, that's, that's not great. Like, why is your knee hurt so much? And what can you do differently? And normally this is uh, looking at your form. So, you know, I've seen military guys broken at the end of their career from too much rucking. I've seen lifters broken at the end of uh, their life cycle, shoulder replacement, hip replacement, like all these surgeries and stuff because they, they pushed it too far. Uh, but I think form is going to be a big deal um, with running specifically, making sure that you really know uh, how to, you know, hit with the 
I'm no, I'm no uh, expert runner coach, but trying to hit more of a forefoot and letting your, your body use its natural, um, you know, spring properties, uh, to, to take the shock and impact of running that way. You're not, you know, you don't have a straight heel strike where your leg is straight when you're hitting and, and you're absorbing all that bone to bone. Um, just really focusing on your form, I think is really big, uh, making sure that you have the right equipment and then checking in with your body. Cause if you do hurt, you need to stop. You know, I've shared this um, on many, many podcast episodes, but I don't mess around. If I if I feel like I'm getting hurt, I just stop. I have absolutely no ego when it comes to fitness because there's no reason to. I'm not competing in anything. All I'm trying to do is be, you know, a really high level uh, for myself and for my family. That's it. So I'm not really interested in this. Um, um, you know, my my knee's killing me, but I got two more reps. Like my knee hurts, and I'm on my third set of squats. I'll probably just stop. I'm not going to push anything to injury. Same with, uh, you know, my shoulder. If I'm lifting something overhead and I'm like, that doesn't feel right. Well, I'm going to try and loosen it up. I'll maybe I'll lift again, but if it's still not feeling right, Hey, I'll get it next time. And so these are kind of, it's more of a mindset uh, approach to these things is, is my best answer to your question. I don't think that there's an exact amount, but always paying attention to your body. And when something's hurt, find out why go to the root cause, fix it. And just making sure that, you know, uh, you know, how far you can push it before something becomes injury. Because anything that is acute, so meaning, you know, just one time, could turn to chronic. And that's what we're trying to avoid. So anytime that acute thing flares up, take it at the root cause. Is your form off? You know, what do you need to do to fix it? Do you need to, uh, you know, get go see a physical therapist or something like that? So those are things I would recommend. Hopefully that helps. Um, I don't think that, like I said, there is a magic number. I think really bad form running could be five miles a week too much really good form running maybe 100 miles a week is okay you know it's really going to be super dependent on each person uh, but paying attention to anything and everything you can and making sure that you're taking care of the root root problem is my main advice so hopefully james that answers your question uh, if anyone else wants to get involved go to garagegymathlete.com slash ama i'll answer your question if you're watching on youtube give me a like subscribe to the channel and a comment where i can know how you're liking these videos And then lastly, if you're listening to the podcast, uh, you know, five-star review and a positive comment would be awesome. But that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. I hope you enjoyed today's Ask Me Anything episode. So one more time, if you want to submit a question, topic, or idea, you can do so at garagegymathlete.com slash AMA. And hey, while you're there, if you haven't already, sign up for Garage Gym Athlete membership. We are the best community and programming on the internet. I dare you to try and prove me wrong.